How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. It is live. We have the EZA battle for the Dokkan Festival STR Super Vegeta in this year's Saiyan Day campaign. I cannot tell you how much I've been waiting for this battle to go live. I'm looking forward to EZA and this guy. But first, we gotta get through the event, right? So we have an effective category this time around of... Android Cell Saga, pretty easy given all the buffs it's been getting recently. And obviously we want to prioritize Extreme Tech, Extreme Int, and Extreme STR and AGL uh, types. Now for the AGL we can do Super or Extreme, which is nice. So we actually got a couple teams here set up for you. We're going to run through. We got four teams and four more stages. As always, any of these teams we run here, can if they can clear any one of these stages, they can clear all four. 30. So first up, we have a team up here at the top with the more cell variant. Now, if you ended up EZA in these guys before taking down the event, it would probably be slightly easier. But again, this this isn't a terribly hard one, right? We also have a more super class variant, but prioritizing AGL types since all other super classes are damage reduced, right? Um, we've got a more androids variant as well, right? Maybe you don't have any good cells. All right, so we've got an androids variant using the Biz LR androids. They are a 170 lead uh, for androids now that they've been easy aid. They won't be the big damage dealers here. They're just the lead. Everyone else on that team will be the damage dealers. Especially these guys, if you got them, they actually do quite well here in this event. And then we've got a more Vegeta's family-focused uh, team, obviously prioritizing AGL. There's a whole bunch of different variations you can pull off using Android Cell Saga and the effective types. Now, I know I said in the beginning, this isn't a terribly difficult one, right? It's, a, it's actually pretty darn easy. But, um, I, you know, I, I do these events simply so, let, let's kick it off with the AGL one. Um, so I, I do these events simply so, you know, you never know who might need the help with these, right? I get comments all the time on EZA Battles Past about, you know, looking for help with teams. You never know who needs the assistance and when, because everybody's box is built different, right? So if you're watching this video and you didn't necessarily need the help, just let me know what uh, team you ran to clear the event. Let's have some fun with it. Let's enjoy, and let's go ahead and hop on right, in here. Let's do this. So the first up, we're just going to go ahead and knock it out with our um, with our AGL types. Now, obviously, you know, we're running a friend LR cell. He ain't going to do much here because he won't have big bad bosses active. But we'll just keep it running auto, right? I mean, these, these EZA battles are so easy. Once you get the right setup, you can basically auto it. Like, watch, even without big bad bosses, he's still going to hit like a truck here. Now look, we still hit 4 million there, right? Obviously, if he had big bad bosses um, linked with another cell, he'd be doing a lot better. There we go. Alright, so now our Trunks here is probably going to do a lot better. The EZA uh, AGL Vegeta 2, if you went out of your way to get his... Well, I mean, probably couldn't, but if you were struggling, you could kind of slowly EZA the steps for this guy, and he would help you. All right, here we go. So we're going to eat a super here with the trunks. Yeah, look at that. Nothing. This dude, um, he's just there just to be on the team <laughs> because he's an AGL type. Um, all right. So, wow, we really changed all the wrong orbs there. Okay, let's grab that. That didn't help either. Okay. Oh, they're really just not wanting to give us orbs. Okay, that's that's how we're going to play. There we go. We get the double super out of AGL uh, LR Gohan. Another strategy you could do too, right? Since it is Android Cell Saga. You know what? Actually, we might just do that for the next one. You could totally bring Gohan and N16 and just one-shot him with Gohan. Actually, let's still... You know what? Let's try that. 
Oh, you would still need to take the damage, though. Because like, he still has the HP restriction. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. We're going to have to adjust our cell team. Um, I realize now that we can't run two cells the same type, and every cell practically has the same name. Uh, totally forgot about that. So let's actually drop out this cell here. Uh, let's go Android Cell Saga. Extreme. There we go. Okay, so we're going to drop out. We'll keep him. All right, and then we'll just drop in a few of the other Android types. Uh, what is he? Is he... He's Perfect Cell. He's Cell Perfect Form. Okay, so we can actually bring the STR one here. And there we go. Okay, so now we got a team set up we can rock with. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and let's hop in. Apparently there's no AGL cells on the friend list, uh, so we're, we're stuck with the 180, but that's more than enough, as you'll see here, uh, to get done what we need to get done. So let's drop... Let's grab that. Um, how about here? Oh, wow. <laughs> You'd think they'd share more links together, but apparently not. Okay, there we go. Can't wait till that guy gets his super easy A. That's gonna be fun. Him in the tech cell with a super easy A. That's gonna be real fun. There we go. Yeah, so much better on this setup here where we've got other cells around. Now, obviously, he's not going. This one's not going to be doing that much damage, and of course, our only Fizz type here is the one to eat the super. That's okay. Him still being Android Cell Saga means he still has the damage reduction on the damage received side, so we're good there. Oh man, that guy's so old. He does. He takes that much damage there. Okay. Well, hey, fun stuff means we get to run do this number. Alrighty. Well, I mean, at least we get to do this number, so there's that. Beautiful, 16 million. And we one-shot him. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Alright, so on to stage 28 here. Is it just me or is it like really slow fading back in? Maybe I'm crazy. Alrighty, um, let's hop into our next team here. Let's do our androids variant here. Um, I doubt, let's see if, will we find a fizz type here? Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect, right. So, I mean, obviously we could run LR Cell, but there's nobody to activate big bad bosses for him, so that's not that helpful. Um, Alrighty, so, wow, okay, well, let's just do that number. Let's grab that. Let's do that. Perfect. Alrighty, so, I mean, I'd be, honestly, I mean, if, if, if the tech droids actually got rainbow key tiers, it's like, I mean, this is twice now in this video that our orb changers just decided to straight up not change orbs. But, uh, yeah, like, if we had actually gotten orbs for them, they would obviously be doing much better here, but that's okay. We have the AGL-18 here, and she's actually really good for this um, because of her her own orb changing and the buff she gets when there's another 17 around. There we go. Yeah, like, so if we had, uh, you see the, the damage we're doing here with the Android setup that we're using. If we had actually got the orbs with the tech droids, this, this would have been over this turn. There would be no second turn. Alright, so here we go. Uh, let's grab the 8 orbs with the Android 18 here. 
let's grab that and then let's send off that so again lead is just the lead they're not here to do much else besides that there we go okay they're gonna eat a uh, super beautiful all right, so that is a big attack stat off of the LR androids here, but of course, because the damage reduction, we might not even do it. Yeah, <laughs> not even going to do a whole lot with it, especially without a crit. That's pretty impressive, actually, now that I think about what we're seeing there. <laughs> with 8 million with no links active, with 2 million on the crit. Wow, did he actually survive that? That's crazy. And again, the androids not changing their orbs. Okay, so I guess this is the game we're playing. All right, well, we'll let the LR androids go ahead and finish things up here. Yeah, so if you had managed to grind out this friend point LR, definitely good on you. They're very helpful here. Excellent. Okay, so that brings us to our last team, which we will use to clear the last two stages. And that is our Vegeta's family team. So if you had managed to pull the new Vegeta... Um, this one will definitely be helpful here. So let's go ahead. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay, so we've got our... Not you. I swear, the, the, the friend system has been crazy lately with how it's been deciding the... Like, who the default friends are. There we go. Okay, let's do that. All right. Okay, so if you happen to have pulled the new Vegeta, you could definitely run him and run a sort of Vegeta's family setup here. That'll work pretty darn well. Alright, here we go. Now him being extreme tech means uh, even though he's not the effective typing, he can still do really, really good. There we go, especially if we get those crits. Love it. I'm so glad I gave mine crit. And then, of course, he doesn't crit on the second one. <laughs> we didn't bring a Goku along on this one, so he doesn't get that extra buff for having a Goku ally. There we go. Alright, let's grab that with the Vegeta, let's grab that with the Trunks, and let's send off the Vegeta and Trunks. Now, they are kind of a liability here because they are not on either of the effective categories for attacking, but they can defend since they are Android Cell Saga. They just won't be doing much damage, but as a free-to-play character, they wouldn't be doing much damage at all. They're literally just here because they're another F Vegeta's family character. And there we go. All right, so stage 29 done. We're going to go ahead and take down stage 30 with the same team here. There we go. And let's hop on right back in and let's finish this up right, quick. Let's do this. All righty. Now, normally, I wouldn't put uh, Trunks in slot 1, but with with the setup we have here, we probably want, don't want that Super Vegeta being tapped at all. He'd take a lot more than Trunks is. There we go. We get an additional normal. We get another additional normal. All right, and then we should get a soup. Oh no, nope, never mind. Yeah, yes. So no orb changes on our chances to change orbs. No supers on our extra supers. I uh, just. Uh, it's a good thing this isn't like a red zone attempt or something. There we go. We get an extra super out of the Vegeta here. Nice.
Alright, let's grab that with the friend Vegeta. And I'm pretty sure with the friend Vegeta, we actually should finish right here. Well, I suppose it depends on if we get the crits. Nope. Okay. I have been noticing a lot of people not giving theirs crits, and I mean, I understand why he's got crit on the active skill turn, but in the build-up before that, it is definitely helpful to have some crits. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, well, this is like I was saying. They can't take a hit. They're literally just here because of the fact that they are a Vegeta's family character. There we go, and we get the additional super. And there we go. So there is uh, the Easy A battle all the way up to stage 30 for the STR Super Vegeta. Like I said, these things aren't too terribly difficult nowadays, especially for Dokkan best Easy A's. But like I said, you never know who's going to need the help with it. You never know what people's boxes are looking like. So I thought... I would throw this guide together for you guys uh, just to kind of look out and help you guys out with what you may or may not be able to put together. Hopefully one of these teams helps you guys out. If not, and you kind of just went along with the ride with us, let us know what team you use to clear the EZA in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested in seeing what you guys use to pull this off. So let's go ahead and let's close out the video by easy aing our Super Vegeta. And there we have it. Who'd have thunk? One of the first cards we pulled on this channel next to the AGL trunks is this guy right here. We've come full circle. We've got his easy A. Oh boy, does that mean AGL trunks might be on the way soon? Who knows? So guys, that's it for our video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know, like I said, what team did you use to clear the event? Curious what you guys used in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and aloha.